Have you ever noticed how much people love to clean with vinegar, especially on YouTube cleaning videos? In this oven. And look, the bubbling action, that's natural. It's like a little science experiment while you clean. And it smells like dill pickles. And they think that vinegar is a miracle cleaner that can clean almost anything. And I get it. Vinegar is cheap, it is easy to find and effective for so many cleaning jobs. But you can take it too far and think that it can clean anything. Because it's an acid, vinegar can damage certain surfaces. I've learned this through my own experience at my house and through testing a lot of different things on this cleaning channel. Even though vinegar is natural, it can do some serious damage. Hi, I'm Janet and I'm the Clean Freak at Clean Freak and Germaphobe. And today I'm going to talk about nine things that you should never clean with vinegar. Descale and iron. Never add vinegar to the inside of a clothes iron that it's called the tank. It can permanently damage the inside because acid eats away at the lining and metal parts. Instead, use the self-cleaning function if it has one. That involves filling it with water, getting the iron hot, unplugging it, and then letting the water drain out these holes and into a sink. That could wash away impurities. However, you can use vinegar on the outside. I need to clean this. To do that, you can soak a towel in vinegar and then you set the iron onto the towel with the, with the iron facing down. Let it sit for 30 minutes and then it should wipe right off. Countertops. You shouldn't use vinegar on certain countertop types. The acid can etch in and dull natural stone like marble and limestone and it can make them lose their shine. And don't use vinegar on sealed stone like granite either because it can break down the sealants on the stone. I usually use Windex on my countertops and this is quartz and they're pretty new and I haven't noticed any damage but Windex does have vinegar in it and so I am taking a little bit of a chance of dulling the surface or damaging it over time. Instead, I would look for an all-purpose cleaner that doesn't have vinegar in it. The one I'm going to use here is called Grow and it's a multi-purpose cleaner and it smells so amazing. It's this citron and white rose. It is a little bit more expensive, but it comes with these little refills and it has a lot less waste and packaging than a lot of cleaning products. So I think it's worth the extra, but you can also use whatever dish soap that you like or use. Dawn Power Wash would work. I do have some ketchup stains right here. To clean up anything that is hard to get off and leaves a residue, you can just use a non-scratching sponge like Scrub Daddy or I really like this Skoy one. Um, they're a little bit abrasive, but they will not scratch. This is, the Grove says that it's good for ceramic, porcelain, chrome, concrete, granite, quartz, and stainless steel surfaces. If you watch our channel very much, you know that we love steam cleaners. Handheld steam cleaners like this Bissell Steam Shot are great for small jobs like this. Uh, I, use, I use it for deep cleaning. If you have a really bad countertop, you'll be amazed at how this will shine and how much it can get off so easily with just water. It wipes up so easily. It passes the hand test where I can't feel anything left on the countertop. If you're enjoying this video and learning something new, please like and share it with others. I hope it can stop more people from making some of these common mistakes with vinegar. And also subscribe if you want more cleaning tips. Dishwashers. I know that a lot of people tell you to put a bowl of vinegar into your dishwasher and then run it to get rid of hard water film and lingering odors or they'll put it in the rinse department. But Consumer Reports tested a lot of dishwashers in their dishwasher lab, which is where they run all these tests to see if the vinegar got off these hard water stains like you can see right there, and food stains. And they found that it did nothing. Instead, you should use something made to clean the inside of your dishwasher like a fresh or finish. Since vinegar didn't work to get rid of water spots, you may wonder if it's okay to use for other reasons. You can, and a lot of people do. I would never use it in this dishwasher though, because as you can see, it just has a lot of stainless steel in it. And you take a risk that the acetic acid in which is vinegar can eat away at the rubber parts in the appliances or damage the stainless steel. Make sure to check your manual 
And if someone on the internet has been doing this for years with no ill effects, that may just mean that the rubber parts in their particular dishwasher aren't damaged by vinegar. But yours may not be so lucky. Clean fingerprints and grime from electronic screens. When mixed with the right ratio of water, vinegar is amazing for getting streak-free windows, but never use it on electronic screens like your computer, your phone, tablet, or TV. That's because they have coatings to reduce the glare and they're made to respond to your touch. You don't want to remove any of those properties. Instead, use a soft sponge or cloth dampened with plain water, and you can even use a little bit of dish soap, diluted 100 parts to one, with water. And just make sure that you never apply any cleaner directly to the screen. First put it on the cloth and wipe it. Cleaning your floors. I know a lot of people use vinegar on their floors. However, do not use it on hardwood floors. Some flooring companies will even void your warranty if there's any sign that vinegar was used on your floor. Diluted vinegar can dissolve the finish that protects the wood and leave it looking cloudy, dull, or even scratched. And that's the same for wood furniture. Don't use vinegar on wood. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's cleaning recommendations or pick a cleaner that's made specifically for hardwood flooring. Same with stone tile floors and stoned countertops. Vinegar will damage them too. Knives. Keep vinegar away from some grades of stainless steel, including your knives, utensils, and even silverware. Vinegar can damage the finish and leave the edge pitted. If you have rust on your knives, I use a little Barkeeper's Friend powder mixed with a little bit of water and give it a gentle scrub. Other common metals in the kitchen that you should keep away from vinegar include aluminum and copper. Vinegar won't necessarily damage your range or cooktop. The metals and ranges are typically coated in enamel and smooth cooktops are made of glass. But just know that it, vinegar does not work as a degreaser. We have an incredible Miracle cleaner that we tested on the greasiest stove I've ever seen. Make sure to check the description for that video to see what it is. Vinegar is sometimes used as a fabric softener or for getting rid of stains and odors in your laundry. In fact, in my recent video about making your own dryer sheets, I specifically talked about using vinegar in your washing machine instead of in the dryer to eliminate bad odors. I've noticed a lot of people debating this online and a lot of them have done this for years without any problem. I wish I could go back in that video and just say that you may not want to do that because again, they're all different and made with different materials and I don't want to take my chances because acid can interact with the rubber or the metal parts in your washing machine. And as I know all too well, washing machines aren't cheap or easy to repair. Like with dishwashers, vinegar can damage the rubber seals and the hoses over time, even causing the hoses to leak. Front load washers can be the easiest to damage this way. Do you have any experience using vinegar that didn't turn out so hot? Let me know in the comments. And watch for an upcoming video about all the ways you should use vinegar to clean. I'll link to one of those above. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in that video.